Aight, so uh, this guy named Murdoch wanted to start a band, so we decided that the most sensible thing to do was to crash into a keyboard shop and steal all the keyboards. But while doing so, he hits this absolute hunk named Stuart Pot, which knocks out one of his eyes and puts him in a coma. And the police come, and as punishment for this, he has to look after him, you know, the person he just almost killed. While doing so, he gets into another car accident, which knocks out Stuart's other eye, and instead of him being dead like anyone else would be, he's woken up from his coma and has no eyes. And Murdoch's all like, dang, this guy looks pretty cool without his eyes. Then he's like, hey, even though I almost killed you twice, do you want to be in my band? And Stuart's all like, okay. Also, Murdoch starts calling him 2D because he has two dents in his head. Very clever, Murdoch. They move into a haunted mansion and name it Kong Studios. I guess that's very fitting. So now they have a keyboardist and a bassist, then a drummer and a guitarist. So they kidnap this possessed guy named Russell for the drummer, and 2D asks his girlfriend to join the band and be the guitarist. But his girlfriend decides she wants some of that Murdoch action, so they break up and she's kicked out of the band. So now they're all like, what the flip are we going to do without a guitarist? But coincidentally, a box arrives at their front door with a 10-year-old named Noodle who plays the guitar, and they're like, sure, that'll work. So they make their first album, and they try to make a movie, but it, it doesn't go very well, so Murdoch tries to kill Dewey, and they don't like that very much, so the band breaks up. Murdoch goes to a party in Mexico and gets arrested for, like, giving false checks or something, doing Murdoch stuff. Russell gets the ghost inside him exercised by the Grim Reaper. 2D goes to work at his dad's carnival, and Noodle goes to Japan to figure out who the hell she is. And when she figures out she was originally raised as a killing machine, she says, man, screw this mess, and she goes back to Kong Studios to make some music. She makes like 90% of an album, and she has the idea to call her bandmates to be part of it, which we all agree to. So they make their second album, Demon Days. But then helicopters shoot down a windmill tower that Noodle is on, and she goes missing. But it turns out this was all planned by Murdoch and this short guy named Jimmy, and they double-crossed him, leaving Jimmy to die in the wreckage. And since the band members have no idea where Noodle is, and assume she's dead, they decide they don't really like this very much, and they abandon Murdoch, and they all go their separate ways for the second time. And since Murdoch is all alone and has nothing better to do, he decides to burn down Kong Studios and use the insurance money to go on a cruise. While he's on the cruise, he sells some faulty guns to some pirates and they aren't too happy about that, so they start hunting him with real guns. And since Murdoch is now on the run, he needs to find a place where he won't be found, so he decides to build a mansion on an island made out of plastic, which gives him a great idea for an album but he, he can't make it without his bandmates, so he hires this dude called the Boogeyman to kidnap 2D, but he can't seem to locate the others, so he builds a robot version of Noodle from her DNA from the wreckage, and replaces Russell <laughs> with a drum machine. Russell hears about this, and he isn't too happy about it, so he decides to swim all the way to the island. The band decides to kidnap Bobby Womack to be on the album, and they get chased by Bruce Willits, who's a, a bounty hunter, apparently. They have a car chase and crash into the ocean, and their car turns into a submarine shaped like a shark, and they make their way back to Plastic Beach. While Russell is swimming, he becomes a giant from all the chemicals he consumed from the ocean, and he runs into Noodle, who has apparently been alive the entire time, and just on a boat that got shot down by pirates. And the pirates find Murdoch on Plastic Beach, and proceed to attack the island alongside the Boogeyman, who is apparently there to connect Murdoch's soul. 2D almost gets swallowed by a whale, but he's saved by Russell and Noodle, and then he's swallowed by another whale. Murdoch escapes into a submarine with Cyborg Noodle, and Russell and Noodle decide to also get out of there and go somewhere else. While Russell and Noodle are swimming away, Russell gets mistaken for a whale due to his size and his harpoon, leaving him severely wounded, and Noodle is left alone in the ocean, just kind of just there in the ocean. Russell is captured and used as a monument in North Korea until he shrinks back down to normal size due to malnutrition and is set free. Noodle is saved by a worker in some small village and becomes an apprentice at his shop, and while there, she accidentally releases a shape-shifting demon, but kills him before he does too much damage. After that, she decides she's done with this mess, so she ships herself back to England in a box, which... Old habits I heard. While Murdoch and Cyborg Noodle are at sea, he's discovered and thrown in jail, for, for some reason, and after a couple of years there, he's let out under the condition that he makes a new Gorillaz album. This, the world at Swallow 2D gets washed up on a deserted island and dies. Well, at least he thinks it's deserted. He finds out a few months later that it was actually a very populated place, but then he gets kicked out 
for stealing friendship braces or something. I don't know what happened. And after all that time, the band reunite and work on their next album, Humans. While at a nightclub, Murdoch is approached by this guy named El Mirida and is offered a deal, but is then framed for smuggling and arrested. So, now that Murdoch's in jail, the band's like, well, what the flip were we supposed to do without a basis? Newell's like, I know another green guy, so they recruit this dude named Ace as their new bassist. Or should I say, Acest. <laughs> <laughs> then they start work on their next album, The Now Now. While in jail, Murdoch starts a fight with the toughest guy in there, who's named Big Balls McGinnis, and he does it to earn respect, but that quickly backfires and he's beat up. Meanwhile, Noodle is suspicious that Tootie might be possessed because he's happier than usual and his eyes are white instead of black, but it turns out he's just happy to be free from Murdoch's antics. Murdoch gets tired of being in prison, so he escapes through the sewers and almost drowns in literal sewage. He asks Noodle for help, and then he she reluctantly agrees, and finds Murdoch in the snow on a mule, or whatever animal is supposed to be. So the band's back together again, and Ace goes away to do something else. I, I don't know where he went. In late 2019, the band members start collecting things for a machine they're building. This machine turns out to be a song machine, which collaborators walk into and do their part without hearing what anyone else is doing, and it's all compiled by the song machine. Since being in jail, Murdoch seems to have less control over the band and less power than he had before. Tootie is more free-spirited, and nobody seems to respect Uncle Murdzie anymore, which he isn't too happy about. Tootie, Noodle, and Russell go through a portal that teleports them to Lake Como, where they go on a boat ride. Murdoch gets left behind the studio without knowing where the rest of the band is. Because of this, Murdoch is afraid the band isn't needed anymore and becomes a sad boy. While riding a motorcycle with 2D, Murdoch stabs him with a syringe full of true serum to learn about how the portals work. But before he could even find out, they crash and he gets into a fight with Noodle and Russell for almost killing 2D for like the fifth time, leaving them all bruised up. Feeling hopeless, Murdoch tries to build his own portal, which obviously doesn't work at all. The band then decides to take a little trip down to Robert Smith Moon, where Murdoch finally gets to teleport by using a monolift. While on the drive, the band gets teleported back to Plastic Beach with the Pink Phantom, who's apparently the who's apparently the source of the portals all these years, and they get teleported to Plastic Beach, which is then destroyed by Lee John, the sea monster, and the band escapes through a portal, where Murdoch is almost left for dead, but then is saved by the last second by 2D, which shows how much their relationship has grown. Okay, th that was a lot of lore for a British cartoon band, but I hope you enjoyed and I'm never doing something like this again. This took so long to do.